is a brand seeking to be a better fit for all. Hi, Sharks. I'm Sharice, and this is my wife, Vicki. We're from San Diego, California, seeking $250,000 for 5% equity in our company. When you go clothes shopping, most stores have a men's section and a women's section. But Sharks, neither of those sections work for me. The women's section tends to have more form-fitting clothes, which I like. But I don't. And while I love the men's style, those clothes are just not made for my body shape. Sharks, she's got a booty. <laughs> True story. <laughs> We're all unique individuals, and we believe the shopping experience should be based on style preference and body type, not on gender. That's why we decided to forge the future of fashion with... Dapper Boy, a genderless and size-inclusive apparel line made to fit you both inside and out. Join Dapper Boy in being part of a revolutionary solution that will bring confidence within us all. After all, isn't it about time that we all fit in? <laughs> Sharks, in front of you, some Dapper Boy clothes we'd love for you to check out. Good for you guys. Thank Good you. Good for you. I'm really intrigued. I mean, Great you shirt. sell direct to consumer? Because yes. you're asking retailers to create a third category, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, obviously we're not opposed to creating this third category or not. But right now we feel like direct-to-consumer is the way to go. Especially, mm -hmm. you know, with being mission-driven brand and just being easy to shop online. Good-looking stuff. So are you blowing it up on social? Or how are you getting the word out to your community? Yeah, so Facebook and Instagram mostly. Um, we're excited to start dabbling to some influencer marketing as well. How do you come up with this? I used to shop in the women's department, and those styles were just never for me. I never felt confident. I felt frumpy. I felt unseen. But mm -hmm. we started Dapper Boy about seven years ago now, and literally it came from a pair of jeans. Jeans was the first thing I tried on in the men's department, and it was the scariest thing to go to that section, you know, okay. to maybe be judged. Um, but it was exactly what I wanted to be. It was like the confidence I wanted. That was my style. You know, it was emotional. But years later, I realized those clothes just never fit my body type. Mm -hmm. And so we, we saw a bunch of people just like myself with the same exact problem. So I guess that your sales are less than a million. Please, I think they're let over me be wrong. So, let okay, me be wrong. so lifetime sales in the last seven years, we've done about 3.5. And actually, the way we run our good business is uh, pre-order campaigns. That's very good. So we bootstrapped the brand. And last year, we were at 1.2. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. I got you. So why don't we get into the margins? What do you, uh, what's an average margin? Take this uh, shirt, for example. Yeah, yeah that shirt is uh, $9.40. Mm -hmm. wow. And we sell it for 60 Landed price for jeans, $15. We sell them for 99 Nice. What did you mean when you referenced a pre-order campaign? How does that yeah, work? Yeah, so how we were able to bootstrap is that we launch these products at what we call intro pricing. So it's usually about a 50% margin at that point. And that really creates a sense of urgency within our customers. Our repeat customer rate is 51%. Wow. These people nice. are That's waiting huge. for our products to come in. And how, does it, how do you execute that exactly? I've never heard that. So we launch a product, we put out on email, social, everywhere, and then the customers go ahead and pre-order the product. And we usually deliver within six to 10 weeks. But I will admit here, COVID, you know, killed us. Right now with the COVID delays, we're seeing six, seven months. Ouch. Wow. And so how much do you have in inventory right now? 60 grand. Okay. But it's across a lot of sizes. And that's what makes it tough. How much cash do you guys have? Uh, maybe $100 today. $100? Oh. Yep. What? But $100? I'm not, yep. We're at the point here where uh, we just sold our house. Oh, no. Uh, it's it's uh, vulnerable and not fun to talk about, but we believe in this brand like more than anything. So far, you're losing money, right? Yes. Okay. So th this how this much money are you losing? On intro right pricing now, is uh, killing your margin. That, yeah, wait, that, Kevin, is, Kevin. How much money are you losing? Yeah. So I think we're about 150,000 ne uh, negative this what year. What did you lose last year? Uh, 313. So Ooh. you're 450 wow. in the hole, right? Yep. Guys, something doesn't add up for me. Yeah. Right? Because your margins are like this. Yeah. And your shipping costs shouldn't be that astronomical. Right. What happened was, is I also started spending in marketing. I hired a consultant. Uh, uh, that's you know, where you went team. wrong. Yeah. Exactly. So how what? much did you spend on marketing? I would say, you know, it was definitely over 30% of... Ooh. Oh, my God. So you have this rabid community that wants to buy from you. You don't need to market them. It was our attempt, and it was a wrong attempt, yeah. to try to expand and go further, but we were not ready for that. We will be ready for that, but not now. And that's why we need experts like you guys to come on board. The reason why the people are waiting six and seven or eight months is, like you said, 
it, it's a community. It's a it's a movement. It, it's funny that FUBU uh, forest bias has become used a lot in the LGBTQ plus community. Yeah, am I right? Yeah. And you are for us by us you know that that's that's who you are why are you trying to go any place else if other people adopt it, it's no problem 100%. but why are you going any place else? there's so many people that identify with you right now stop trying to be everything to no, everybody you know I, I have to i have to argue that and it's because i don't want to be categorized i want to fit in with everybody you know, so like, but, listen, I'm listen. I'm pro-black, but yeah. never anti anything else. No, of right? course. It doesn't mean that yeah. other people won't accept. It. So yeah. I have to be. I have to be honest. I have to give you my assessment of the business. I got to try to find a way to help you. I'll mentor you. But Appreciate as it. for the business, yep. I'm out. Thank you. You guys, I like to sit here and say I've done a million products, and I have, and I've done something in just about every medium, but the one thing I've really never done is jeans, clothing. I don't know how I could bring value to your business and help you out, so unfortunately, I wish you good luck, but I'm out. Thank you very much. I understand your mission, I respect it. There is such a need for this, but I think your problem is much larger cash-wise than you envision it to be. Even if you came in here and we gave you the $250,000 for your stock, that's nothing. That's not gonna get you over the hump. It's just, it's a rough one. So I wish I could be with you, but I am out. I wanted to mention one other thing, and it's pretty important here. We're about to do a collaboration with another brand that does jeans, and they do 3D modeling. So what happens with that is that Guys, guys, yep. don't do that. Don't do the collaboration? No. You have a fundamental problem. You don't know what business you're in. You have this community that's like this. Golden. Your clothes are not the product. The community is looking to your, your clothes as their membership, as the way that they, for them to say, we all belong together, that this is us. The clothes are secondary. It's keeping the community together that's important. But I have a fundamental problem as an investor because we're not on the same page on what makes the business. It's about, I want more inventory. I've got this collaboration. I've got all these other things. That's not the vision I would have, and it's your vision that's far more important. So for those reasons, I'm out. You're, you're not only all in, you're all in 2,000%. There's only one direction. Yes. It's up to the surface so you can raise some oxygen. That is yeah. not a wonderful place for an investor to be. Like, right. I wish you guys the best of luck, but I'm out. Thank you. Good luck, guys. Thank you, Thank you very much. Keep on fighting. Thank you. Good luck, you guys. Let me give you this. Yes. <laughs> this is my number. So, Good Thank luck. you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Thanks, All guys. Right. Thank you, guys. I think the sharks reminded us that our community is, is everything. It's not the end of Dapper Boy. And you know what? At the end of the day, we came here to build a relationship. And I'm so happy that we walked out of here with... Hopefully a mentorship. Yes, so that's huge. Yes.